Edie Solvera, a new pathway to healing. Welcome to the next episode of the Ask PD video series. Love the question you sent in today on my Facebook fan page. It was, why do people daydream? Love this question. You know, daydreaming is how the brain processes events, conversations, something that may seem uncomfortable while you're in that awake state. It's kind of similar to how the brain does it at night when you're in the REM state, the rapid eye movement state. Actually, you're in that state 25% of the night, and that's when you're processing your daily events, things that feel uncomfortable. So the daydream is done in the awake state. Let's just talk about the four states. You know, you're in your beta state, that's your everyday alert state. Then there's the alpha state of awareness, and that's when you're truly relaxed. Your brain waves have slowed down, your creative energy is starting to flow. And then there's the theta state. It's kind of elusive and more mysterious. It's where your brain activity has almost gone to sleep, but not quite. So you have flashes of insight, dreams, inspiration. This is where you can meditate or do hypnosis. And your daydream falls between the alpha and theta state, depending upon how deeply you're in there. And the last state is delta, and that's your deep healing sleep at night. So it's interesting that you daydream one third of your waking day. That's kind of a lot, don't you think? So why do people daydream? Well, you can rediscover what it is you want. It is the gateway to your proposed reality. Try things on, see how they fit. You can activate and do new things. Your creative side kicks in. And each piece of that daydream data can become like a whole picture. It's kind of like a puzzle with your life etched on it. And you're connecting your conscious with your unconscious. You can actually hear your spirit self feed your consciousness with messages. It's kind of an oxymoron. Sometimes you just need to get out of yourself in order to delve into yourself. You can see how you really want to be when you're in that non-dream state. So remember, some of the world's greatest minds develop great ideas while daydreaming. Albert Einstein and Walt Disney were two of them. So happy daydreams. Petey Silver, a new pathway to healing. Take care.